Okay. On this final video of restoration of the Westing House, I've got the tape recorder back together. The list has been painted. The uh, motor mounts have been fixed. The belts have been replaced. Everything has been lubricated that needed it. Turns out the flywheel didn't need it. Or the motor. And, um, it's almost in the condition that it would have been over 30 years ago. Not exactly new, but very close to it. See, very nice silver up here. Where you taped up the numbers. I mean, it, it, it just looks beautiful. And it still kind of runs a little rough, but just read it. Thing that you can really see that nice paint job it has. I did not replace the uh, real fence on this side. I might do that some other time. But <clears throat> for now, this rubber thing. But for now, this rubber thing does what it needs. No more flutter on three or four. replace the missing tube cover. My dad turned out to have some light bulbs that would fit in this machine that were good. Turns out it's either the wrong number bulb or uh, a bad socket because this thing still doesn't react in the record. And, uh, well, that's okay because I'm not going to use this thing in record because this is the only input right here, this microphone. Which I still haven't cleaned it up yet. And, uh, wine. Also replaced one of the tube covers that was missing. Because it's supposed to have two tube covers, and I only had one. And it's causing a noise over the amplifier every once in a while. I'd say wine works much better. I replaced the two belts that needed replacement. The one right here and the one right here. This one was okay. Finger slid off the button. This, this tape was recorded on that. Sony TC211, the red one, right under there, and that one that's in the middle of the screen now, next to the tape -thon, is my Halloween costume. Still have it. And, uh, the paint, that did match brilliantly. Silver makes it look a lot better. See where he taped around. Didn't turn out too bad. Especially right here. See how much more shiny that newer paint is.
Look at the record lock. You can't even tell. <coughs> nah, he did paint over the rubber on here a little bit, but that's okay. And, uh, it is... Oh, wait. It's officially one of my favorite recorders now. Because it looks so good and it works so good. And, uh, our recorder's closet. We got this one's for parts now since it's jumped. Something went wrong in it. I don't even want to repair it. Here's this crown quarter. There's silver tone. There's the sears down there. Not sears, but Sanyo. Inside that little compartment right here, next to the Sanyo right here, is uh, parts from a woolen sack. Obviously, right here, Tony TC 211, the Silver Tone Modified Wire Recorder, Halloween Costume, Tape A Thon, Silver Tone Wire Recorder, and obviously, the Webster Chicago. This is where I keep it. Yeah, there's the poor, poor boom right there. On top of that one. Pine cord back there. And super tall green again. Who could that be? No one I know. Quite the wrong. And it runs nicely. It's a good machine. And that is all for this video of restoration of the. Hey, you! Excuse me. This is all for this video of the restoration of the Westinghouse Portatape reel-to-reel tape recorder. And thanks to the people that helped me. My stepdad, Brian. My dad. For getting it. Uh, for me. Three dollars. My grandpa for having the belt. My dad for obviously having the light bulb also. Um, Grady over at uh, Queen of Hearts Antiques for some other parts that he gave me, which have been used on a lot of different ones. Um, um, and those people. And everybody else to help me on that. I can't think of everybody right now. But they all helped me out and did an awesome job. And, uh, in the previous parts of the video, I had the microphone pl plugged into the wrong microphone slot. It was actually plugged into the headphone slot, not the microphone slot, so. And the camera with the microphone was sitting, the actual one that was picking up was sitting toward my grandpa's tape recorder in the kitchen. Which is why you hear country music over the, and sometimes maybe old rock and roll over the whole camera. Because that's what he listens to every day. And I was doing some work on the tape recorder in the kitchen because that's the best place to do it. Over at Grandma and Grandpa's. Also, oh, that's where all the belts are, so. Over there. So. I do have some belts around here. They're all made like VCR belts and newer stuff that wouldn't work in these. And that's all for this video. I might post this recorder again. Then it's even better. It might not never get no better. I might just do an update to tell you how it's doing. And stuff like that. And that is all for this Real Master video. I told you to stop.